As of now, the world financial system is on the brink of collapse due to its own shortcomings. This is why inflation is skyrocketing, all debt is at record levels, and the government and Fed are hemorrhaging new money to bail out the corrupt system. Where is people's money safe? Well, I, I don't give financial advice. I only tell you what I do. And uh, what I've been doing since 2001, when we predicted the beginning of the gold bull run, has been investing in gold, a little bit of silver, and for a while the Swiss franc. But now they're trying to drive down the value of that. Gold looks like the life preserver. Because what's really going on, Lauren, is the world knows that the European situation, there's no way out of it. So the more digital money that they keep printing, the higher the value of gold. So right now, gold, to me, is the wisest asset. This is just uh, gold for the past decade. I, I just challenge anybody to go and find an index or a stock or anything that looks that good over the last 10 years. This is a perfect chart. It's very bullish. There's nothing here saying that gold, in this information that you're looking at, this is what technical analysts look at when they're trying to figure out whether to buy an asset or sell an asset. And uh, uh, this is saying that gold is probably going to continue rising. There's nothing bearish in that signal. What will happen is uh, there's going to be a currency revaluation across the globe. Well, gold in particular will have to be, as it was in the 30s, valued upward. So gold and precious metals and any currency that brings in a, a basket of commodities or precious metals as the, the basis of that currency will, in concert, you're going to see a revaluation of gold bullion, I believe. And you can see the price of gold move up 50, 60 percent in one, in one day or one week or could move up 100% in, 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 uh, in a week. This means that all currencies are going to be revalued against gold. Gold is this kind of thing that you buy the bars of it or you buy the physical gold and you don't do anything with well, no. it. You just hold it. Yeah, gold is money. And money retains its value. That's the good thing about money. The problem is what everybody is using that they think is money, dollars, doesn't retain its value because Ben Bernanke is printing it like crazy. This is the gold panic in 1948 in Shanghai. Uh, if you wait until the last minute, you know, I'm not very good at swearing. Robert Kiyosaki is great at it, so I usually don't swear much on stage. But if you wait until the last minute, you are shit out of luck, up shit creek without a paddle in a barbed wire canoe, fucked. È un materiale che viene venduto e fatturato senza IVA, senza spese, senza commissione. Uno acquista l'oro, punto. Punto. Tasse? Tasse zero. Dunque il metallo nobile è tornato di moda, il suo valore è schizzato alle stelle e ora luccica nei cavò e nelle cassaforti di mezzo mondo. Proviamo a capire perché. Perché quando viene meno la fiducia nei confronti di tutto il resto, si ritorna fondamentalmente a ciò che è più inefficiente come investimento però è più sicuro, come appunto l'oro. Perciò, quando la borsa è incerta e se qualche titolo di Stato scricchiola, il buon vecchio oro ricompare in portafogli per preservare patrimoni e potere d'acquisto. E ormai lo si può acquistare anche così, al distributore automatico di monete e lingotti. Un grammo intorno ai 40 sarà qualcosa meno. Questa è l'oncia, che sono 31 grammi e 10, e dopo ci sono queste monete qui. Tutte queste? Sì. sì. È un investimento. Il peor del investimento. Ed eccolo qua, un lingotto da un grammo nuovo di zecca. Totale 40 euro, confezione inclusa. Un modo per iniziare. Si torna alle origini. Silver is the second most useful commodity known to man. Oil is the first with about 30,000 uses. 
Silver is second with about 10,000 uses, but we use it in microscopic amounts. When you type on a keyboard, you're typing on silver. When you look at a DVD or a CD, you're looking at silver. When you look in the mirror, you're looking at silver. When you look through a thermal pane window, you're looking through silver. It's everywhere. It's a biocide. It's, it's uh, uh, going into superconductors. It's going into RFID chips. But you know what? None of that matters. What's going to drive the price of silver is investment demand. It's the public rushing into this, and when gold gets too expensive for the public, they switch their preference to silver. This is what happened back in late 1979 and early 1980. So we use up the silver, so the result is this is what they look like today. So the only play to me that made any sense was gold. And I believe that they're just going to continue to print money, they're going to continue to devaluate it, and that the only commodities that are going to be worth anything are the precious metals, silver included. Right, what's, the, what's the best way actually to buy in to these commodities? If you don't own it, you don't have it. See, if it's not in your possession, it's not yours. Gold has been around a long time. It's true. Yeah. And it has an intrinsic value. It, it goes throughout civilization from almost the beginning of it. And there's a reason for it.